goddess Brasleon, and welcome to our fifth Egyptian goddess, goddess Nephthys. She is known as Lady of the House. Anyhow, here is her titles, alternate names, and spellings, hieroglyphics, and what she is goddess of. Enjoy. Welcome back, everyone, to Goddess Nephthys. Now, Goddess Nephthys is known as Goddess of Death and Darkness. Now, a lot of people relate Nephthys to that of evil. Like her husband is God of evil, said, But technically, he was not torn to evil till he called, killed Osiris, which relate back to the stories that I did on Osiris and God said. Well, anyhow, I wanted to wait for the end of this for uh, Nephthys, is that her sister, she's the exact twin of her sister, meaning that she is the exact opposite. Isis is that of life, she is that of death. We cannot have death without life. And her sleeping with um, Osiris to trick him into getting her pregnant, um, she did bear a child, Anubis, which, if you think about it, after those four gods, you know, they were opposite to each other. And she bared a child of Anubis, which he became then that of the border between life and that of death. Hence, he got a bad rap. But we've done plenty of videos, I uh, talked plenty about him, God Anubis. Now, when he was brought forth to her husband, Set, Set denied the presence of Anubis. So he rejected him. Hence why he was raised by Isis. So Anubis was raised by darkness and, I mean, born by darkness and raised by light. So it makes him perfect. But this ain't about God Anubis. Um, but Goddess Nephthys is also that you saw mourning. People use her in witch roles for the dead when they die. Even today in practicing, you would call upon her for mourning to to ease your mourning if you lose someone. She actually um, helped you at night time. During the full moon, it would be perfect to walk with her because it's, it's a perfect time at night, especially. But anyhow, this has been it for Goddess Nephthys, and I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Goddess Breath.